We're learning some more facts right now in regard to this enhanced video that the grand jury apparently saw. I just looked at it myself. This is a evidence, according to the and, prosecutor. And they're going in section, almost frame by frame. First of all, it shows that a lot of children were in, at that recreational center outside at the time the officers pulled up. That forms their state of mind. Then it talks about the original dispatch call said that the officer was going to be, that, the, uh, that Tamir Rice was going to be at the swing set. But when they pulled up, they saw he was at a table under the gazebo. And then you see the video, and it very plainly shows he stands up and puts an object into the waistband. He appears to go in the opposite direction, but then changes direction toward the officers, and the cruiser is still moving at that point. It then shows the right hand of Tamir Rice in front of the body, right arm moves to the waist, and you see his jacket moving up with this enhanced video. They say the officer fired two times. One shot hit, hit Tamir Rice four and a half to nine feet away. Also says we hear the uh, 911 call, the dispatch call from the officer saying it's a black male, probably 20, a black revolver is in his hand. And this is what they say is a key to it. The gun was found on the ground. And so that, the office, the, they believe, was because the gun was out. It wasn't in the waistband.